I have something to show you. It's an invention of ours that is advanced and yet surprisingly simple. At our production sites around the world, we make all kinds of trucks. Diesel, electric and gas powered. Each one is individually designed to meet every customer's wishes. At our plants, we apply the mixed model assembly concept, which means that we build them all on one single production line. To make this work, we need to have the right parts ready for the right track at just the right time. You know, here at the Tuve plant in Gaffenburg, we handle about 25,000 unique part numbers every day. And actually, we expect that number to increase significantly the coming years. And this is, as you can understand, quite a logistics challenge and can lead to traffic jams with different transporters almost everywhere. First, we tested established industrial robotic transporters with advanced onboard system, but they weren't flexible enough for our complex needs. So the thing we needed didn't seem to exist. We had to invent it ourselves. An idea about computer vision and guiding robots from the factory ceiling was born. So the first step, we brought in the best minds from academia. For example, the amazing automation team at E2, Chalmers University of Technology. We built the prototype and tested it with the most critical task we could ever think of. And then we moved here to the two, the pilot factory. And together with this guy, Christopher Bengtsson, we created the first robot for the real deal. And guess what? It worked. And the solution turned out to be scalable, affordable, easy to program, and most importantly, safe and efficient. In the factory then, we installed cameras, charging station, and AI system for the transporters and started using them. They also has a CE approval. You see, these cameras, they don't see the world like you and me. They only see what's necessary to take the transporter safely wherever needed. Each of these simple cameras covers about 50 to 100 square meters, guiding the transporters among objects and colleagues. And they have sensors on board that make them stop if something unforeseen happened. And as an extra protection, a nice bumper stop. And if they for some reason stops, it's very easy to restart them again. They are actually so convenient to handle that the factory's own staff can set up and program the system themselves. So this is just the beginning for our new colleagues. We have already made new designs for other tasks. And that we are now in the midst of planning for the same solution at other sites all around the world. And the best part, having robots running more frequently in our factories, our most valuable and flexible resources, we as employees can dedicate our time to more complex and delicate tasks.